Hi guys, in this video, um, in this series of text videos, I'm going to show you how to combine a few of the text functions we've learned in previous videos uh, into uh, a useful, much more practical example, which is to search for a text string, and if it is present in, the, in a uh, larger text string, return any specified value that you desire. Either a yes or no, the text string itself, anything you desire using the if function okay so we're gonna nest a bunch of text functions and, and other functions within a if function which is quite common so let's see what we're doing here we got a column column a which is just a bunch of text strings and we want to in this blue highlighted area we want to find whether Mike is present in this in these text strings okay and let's just include Mike here as well. Okay, so we expect him to be present in uh, A6, A7, and A9. Now, you would just say, okay, I was able to do that in two seconds by just looking at it. Uh, why do I need to learn all this fanciness? Well, as you know, if you've worked or had a big, pro a real, pro real world problem, data comes in thousands and tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of rows so you cannot do this or else you'll spend weeks uh, manually you can just if you use some of your cleverness and some of these skills that you can you, you can just type a function once and Excel will be able to in a split second be able to find which uh, cells in this column column A contains the text string in this case Mike Let's say we're just looking through some documents and we want to find, uh, we copy and paste those documents into Excel and we want to find instances of, the, of a certain word. And if it's found, we want to do some further research into those documents. Okay? So let's do this. Equals if. So we want to search if Mike. So equals if search. And in quotes, we're going to put Mike. Now, if you don't know the search command or the if command, be sure to watch my videos on those because this is a buildup from those videos. Okay? Equals search Mike where, well, in this text string. And if you find Mike, well, first is number and then search. I'll explain this. And then if, if the search command does yield a number, give me back yes, and if it doesn't, give me back no. That essentially is saying that the text string has mic in it or it does not have mic. So the first one does not, second one does, third one does, and the capitalization doesn't matter and the final one does. This cell does not, right? Now let's just go into that again because I did uh, jump ahead and I wasn't clear. Let me just do it again. Equals if, now we use is number. Is number is a function that I've done a video on, be sure to watch that, which tests if a cell is a, is a number or the contents of this function is number. If it's a, if it's a number, it returns true. If it's not, it returns false. And then when we, use, when we put search inside of his number and we search for Mike in this cell, if search finds Mike, it will give us the position that the text string Mike starts at, starting from left to right. So Mike in cell, in for example, cell A6, Mike starts in position 1. So that's a number. So this would give us a number, namely 1. And then is number would look at this number and say, oh yeah, this is a number. So this is number and search combined would give us true. Right? In this text string, search will not find Mike. So it will get no result. So this will not be a number. It will, and if this is not a number, then this will give us false over here, 
and if would be false. Okay. So let's stick with that. Uh, let's get back into this. So close another parentheses. Now, comma. Now, if it is true, in other words, if Mike was found, is number uh, search would if Mike is found, search will give us the position, starting position of the of the text string Mike, and that's a number. And is number would give us true, and then feeding that back into the if true would give us yes. Now we're back in the if function, and if it's not a number, we just get no. We'll, we want Excel to return no. Okay, so you gotta you have to know what is number function, how the is number function works. You have to know how the search function works, and you have to know how the if function works. And I've made separate videos and multiple separate videos on all those functions. This is a build up, this is a more advanced technique. So if this is confusing to you or if it seems that the explanation is a little choppy, uh, that's because I'm trying to accommodate a little bit uh, to people that may not may know may have not have seen my videos on those particular functions. But it's really meant for people who are familiar with them or have seen my videos. Okay? And if you have, then you know, then you can see how the logic of this function works. Okay? And so, but back to our point, we found Mike, and when we found Mike, we said we found Mike. We can even change this to found Mike. Right? That's the thing we want here. We want the capability to say uh, something when, when we find the text string that we're looking for. And that's what the if function gives us. Instead of just a true false or the position of uh, Mike, we'll get actually in one formula will be in one column and one cell will be able to get uh, our answer how we want it okay ready for output so make sure to subscribe to my channel on the top left of this video uh, check out my other Excel access PowerPoint math statistics and other computer trick tutorial videos uh, till next time. Click on our sponsor's ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.